Welcome back. Now let's do a problem that involves almost everything we've learned so far about probability and combinations and conditional probability. So let's say I have a bag again, and in that bag I have five fair coins, five fair, and I have ten unfair coins, ten unfair. And a fair coin, of course, there's a 50-50 chance of getting heads or tails. And the unfair coin, let's say that there is a 80% chance of getting a heads for any one of those coins, and that there is a 20% chance of getting tails, right? Because it's going to either be heads or tails. So my question is, is I, what happens is I put my hand in the bag, and I, my eyes are closed, and I picked out a coin, and then I flip it six times, and it turns out that I got five out of, well, let's say, yeah, well, no, let me, let's say I got four out of six heads. That's the result I got. What I want to know is, what is the probability that I picked out a fair coin given that I got four out of six heads? So before moving on, let's do a little bit of a review of Bayes' theorem, and I think that'll give us a good framework for the rest of this problem. So Bayes' theorem, and let me, let me do it in this corner up here. Bayes' theorem tells us the probability of both A and B happening, that upside down U is just intersection in set theory, but it's essentially saying you know, it's the set of events in which both A and B occur. That's equal to the probability of A occurring given B times the probability of B, which is also equal to the probability of B occurring given A times the probability of A. And I think this should make some intuition to you, for you. If it doesn't, it might be a good idea to watch the, the conditional probability videos. But what we can do is we can rearrange this equation right here to get, if we just divide both sides by the probability of B, we get the probability, and I'll do this in a vibrant color, the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of B given A times the probability of A divided by the probability of B. All right, I just took this equation, divided both sides by the probability of B, and I got this. So what is A and B in the problem we're trying to figure out? We want to try to figure out the probability that I picked out a fair coin given that I got four out of six heads. So in this situation, A is that I got a fair coin. A is equal to picked fair coin, picked fair, and then b is b is equal to 4 out of 6 heads. 4 out of 6 heads. So in order to figure out the probability that I picked a four, fair coin given that I got 4 out of 6 heads, I have to know the probability of getting 4 out of 6 heads given a fair, that I picked the fair coin times the probability of picking out a fair coin divided by the probability of getting 4 out of 6 heads in general. So this is probably the hardest part to figure out. And we will, um, along the way, we'll actually probably figure out the, the top two terms. So what's the probability of b, or the probability of getting 4 out of 6 heads? So let's see what happens. Right when I, I put my hand into the bag and I pick out a coin, there is a 5 in 10 chance, or 5 in 15 chance, right? There are 15 total coins that I pick a fair coin. So 5 in 15, that's the same thing as 1 third that I pick a fair coin. And then there's a 2 thirds chance that I pick a unfair coin, right? Now if I pick a fair coin, given I, that I have a fair coin, what is the probability, what is the probability, given the fair coin, what is the probability that I get 4 out of 6 heads? Well, once again, let's think about the previous several videos. What's the probability of giving any one particular combination of four out of six heads. So for example, you know, it could be heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, heads. It could be, um, I don't know, it could be the first four heads, 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 tails, tails. Right? And, and there are a bunch of these. And we, once again, we'll use the, uh, the uh, binomial coefficient, or we'll use our, our knowledge of combinations to figure out how many different combinations there are. But what's the probability of each of these combinations? Well, what's the probability of heads? That's 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5. And then the probability of tails, since it's a fair coin, is also 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5. So each of these 
Uh, there's a one half chance of getting a heads times one half chance of a tails times one half chance of a heads times one half chance of a tails, et cetera, et cetera. So each of these are essentially you know one half times one half six times. So the probability of each of the combinations is one half to the sixth power. One half to the sixth power. And so how many combinations are there like this, where you get um, out of the six flips you're choosing, you're essentially choosing four heads. You're choosing, you know, if I'm once again the god of probability, I am picking four, exactly four, of the six heads. Uh, sorry, I'm picking four of exactly six of the flips to end up heads, right? I'm, I'm choosing which of the, the, the flips get you know, selected, so to speak. So it's essentially, there are going to be, out of, out of six flips, I'm choosing, as a god of probability, four to be heads. So that's the number of combinations, the number of unique combinations, where you have four out of six heads, times the probability of each of the combinations, which is 1 half to the sixth power. Well, what's 6 choose 4? That's 6 factorial over 4 factorial times 6 minus 4 factorial, so that's 2 factorial. And that's times 1 half to the sixth. And I'll switch colors again just to stop the monotony. And that equals, let's see, 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. We don't have to write the 1 times 1. Well, I'll do it anyway. Over 4 factorial, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then 2 factorial, 2 times 1. So that cancels with that. The 1 we can ignore, 2. 2 divide both sides by the numerator and denominator by 2. And this becomes a 3. So this becomes 15. So this equals 15 times 1 half to the 6. So what's 1 half to the 6? That's 1 over 64, right? So 1 over 64, so it becomes 15 over 64. So the probability of getting 4 out of 6 heads given a fair coin is 15 out of 64. So this is the probability of 4 out of 6 heads given a fair coin. And if you look at it, based on our definition of B and A, this is the probability of B given A. Right? B is 4 out of 6 heads given a fair coin. Fair enough. So let's figure out the probability of, because the, there's two ways of getting 4 out of 6 heads. One that we picked a fair coin, and then you know times 15 out of 64. And then there's a probability that we picked an unfair coin. So what's the probability of the unfair coin? Of, of, getting, of getting 4 out of 6 heads given the unfair coin? Well, once again, what's the probability of each of the combinations where you get 4 out of 6? So in this situation, let's do the same one. Heads, tails, heads. Tails, heads, heads. Right, that's four out of six heads. But in this situation, it's not a 50% chance of getting heads, it's 80%. So it would be 0 0.8 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.8. And so essentially, we have, you know, this multiplication, we can rearrange it because it doesn't matter what order you multiply things in. So it's 0 0.8 to the fourth power times 0.2 squared. Right, it's it, and it doesn't matter. You know, any any of the unique combinations will each have the same probability because we can just rearrange the the order in which we multiply. Right, and then how many of these combinations are there? If we are once again the god of probability, and out of six flips, we are picking four. Uh, we're choosing four that are going to end up heads. How many ways can I pick uh, a group of four? Well, once again, that's times six choose four, and we figured out what that is. Six choose four is fifteen. So this equals 15, 15 times 0.8 to the fourth times 0.2 squared. So the probability, so this, and this, so this is, this is the probability of four out of four out of six heads given an unfair coin. So what's the total probability of getting four out of six heads? Well, it's going to be the probability of getting the, the fair coin, which is 1 third, times the probability of getting 4 out of 6 heads given the fair coin. And that's this, 15 over 64 times 15 over 64, plus the probability of getting an unfair coin, 2 thirds, times the probability of getting 4 out of 6 heads given the unfair coin. And that's what we figured out here. 
times 15 times 0.8 to the fourth times 0.2 squared. And this is the probability of getting four out of six heads. And let's figure out what that is. Well, this is one of this is this this will cancel out with this. It becomes five out of sixty-four. That's easy enough. Two thirds times fifteen, that's ten. And now we just have to figure out what that is. Let's see. I'm gonna go over the time limit to see if being a YouTube partner allows me to go over the time limit. Let's see. Point eight times point eight times point eight times point eight is equal to and then times point two squared, so times point two times point two is equal to point oh one six, so that's that. And then we say times ten, right? Because two thirds times fifteen. So times ten is equal to sixteen point three eight four percent. So the probability is, so this term right here, let me write that down, and I'll switch colors again. This is 0.16384, and we're going to add that to 5 divided by 64. So let's see, 5 divided by 64 is equal to 0 0.07, whatever, whatever, plus 0.16384 is equal to 0.241965. So that's the probability. Not knowing which coin I picked out, that's the probability of getting four out of six heads. When you when you combine it, you know, it could be one third chance fair, two thirds chance unfair. So that's twenty four point one nine. I'm keeping the precision just because it might come in useful later. Percent chance. So that's the probability of B. So let's see if we can clean this up a little bit, just because I don't think we need all of this uh, writing now. I think we're ready to substitute into the our Bayes formula, which we Bayes theorem that we rederived. Let me derive. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Recording longer videos is dangerous because if I make a mistake, that's more time wasted. I don't want to delete anything that could be useful. Okay, so let's see if we can solve the probability that we picked a fair coin given that we got four out of six heads. So that is going to be equal to, by Bayes' theorem, which should make some sense to you, that is equal to the probability of B given A. So it's the probability that we get four out of six heads given a fair coin times the probability of a fair coin over the probability of getting four out of six heads either way. Four out of six heads. So four out of six heads given a fair coin, we figured that out over here. That's 15 over 64. So this equals 15 over 64. What's the probability that we picked a fair coin? Well, there's 15 coins, and five of them are fair. So it's five out of 15. So it's 1 third so times 1 third. And what's the probability that, in general, we picked four out of six heads? Well, that's, that's this number, 0.24196. So this equals, let's see, this is equal to 5 over 64 divided by 0.241965. And what is that equal to? That's 5 divided by 64 is equal to that, divided by 0.24196. Is equal to 32. Point, well, roughly 3% is equal to 32.3%. So that's amazing, or or relatively amazing. We've now we it's it's a little bit less than a one-third shot that we picked the fair coin, given that we got four out of six heads. And 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 what's interesting is the four out of six heads it kind of decreased the probability that we got a fair coin, right? Because of the before having any data on, on what happens when we flip it, we would have had a one third probability, which is thirty three point three, right? But given that we we got more heads than tails, kind of the the, the universe of probability is, is telling us that, well, if you got more heads than tails, that makes it a little bit more likely that you pick the unfair coin, which is a little bit more weighted to heads. But it's saying it's not that much more likely because this isn't that unusual of a result to get even with a fair coin. And so that's why it became a little bit less likely to get a fair coin. I will actually and let me give you a 
let me give you a, a bit of a, an intuition visually, kind of with set theory, on why that makes sense. Why that makes sense. So if we go back to Bayes' theorem, let's just say that you know this is our let me this is the universe of all of the events, right? That's all of the universe. There's roughly a one third chance that I picked a fair coin. So roughly one third of this will be fair. So this is fair. This is unfair, right? And then if I picked a fair coin, we figured out that there's a roughly a 15 out of 64 shot that I get. Uh, I get four out of six heads. So maybe that's this little section of the, let me do it in a different color. That's this section. And then we figured out if we have an unfair coin, I forgot what the exact number is, but there was some probability that we get four out of six heads. right? It's actually a little bit bigger. It's like that. right? So this is getting four out of six heads given you got an unfair coin. This is getting four out of six heads given that you got a fair coin. And then this whole area is a probability that you get four out of six heads. So all Bayes' theorem told us is, look, we got four out of six heads. So this, this, we're in this universe where we got four out of six heads. And if we got four out of six heads, one third of this universe, roughly, or 32.3% of this subset of four out of six heads, intersects with the fair coin universe, right? So this 32.3% is essentially this fraction of the total probability of getting four out of six heads. Anyway, hopefully that gave you a little bit of intuition. And I hope that YouTube lets me publish this video because I'm on my 17th minute. I'll see you in the